a finish like that in the men's 400 meter freestyle. But in the women's 400 meter freestyle SA, we are expecting a very tight affair as well. Now, Morgan Stickney might very well be the favorite for this. She is the upcoming swimmer, but let's meet the individuals who'll be doing battle. Going in lane eight is Vindula Dushkova of Czech Republic, a 23-year-old occupational therapist who's managed her training around her day job. Maria Pavlova, the 22-year-old uh, bronze medalist in the 200 IM from Moscow. She goes in lane one for RPC. Amelie Finter goes in lane seven, representing Denmark, the country with the highest percentage of employment for women in the EU. And swimming for the oldest continually used flag in the world, the Dannebrog. Mira Mark of Germany, out of Berlin, a swim team. She's just 17 years old. This is a glorious experience for her. She goes in two. Going for Spain in lane six is another 17-year-old, Naya Sudair. European Championship silver medalist. Dania Francesca Palazzo is 23 and is already a medalist at these championships, having claimed silver in the 200 individual medley, her uh, only individual event, also a relay medal. Going in lane five, well, somebody who is one of the most decorated and recognized Paralympians of all time, not just in the pool, the 29-year-old Jessica Long, who was beaten in the 2016 final, but a double champion before that. And won the 200 IM for the fourth successive time at these games already. Morgan Stickney, though, a 24-year-old non-disabled swimmer until her left foot needed to be amputated after, after she broke the bones in the body in, the, uh, in her foot as a 15-year-old. She subsequently needed to have the lower portion of her right leg amputated in 2019. But she is quick, and Lakeisha Patterson's world record Maybe we're looking uh, that low. Stickney against Long, the battle to come. Yeah, I mean, this one is something to definitely watch. I do think Lakeisha Patterson's world record is in jeopardy, especially by Morgan Stickney. There is Morgan Stickney. Hey. Multiple gold medalist over this event at the Para National Championships in the United States. Pavlova, Mark, Palazzo, Stickney, Long, Sudair, Finter, and Dushkova. But Palazzo going in lane three for Italy is the only other swimmer who comes into this uh, race with the time anywhere below the five minute mark. Ultimately, it's Stickney and Long who are well into the 440s and chasing that record of Lakeisha Patterson's, which stands currently at four minutes, 40.33 seconds. So getting off to uh, an exuberant start here is Jessica Long. 100 backstroke bronze medal, a DQ in the four by 100 meter freestyle relay in which she, she swam with uh, Stickney. The 25 Paralympic Games medals after her gold in that 200 IM on day four of the competition and looking to extend that with a gold medal here. But Stickney is a strong swimmer and maybe a tactic from Long to, uh, to try to see if Stickney will go with her a little and disrupt the plans of the younger swimmer. But Stickney is breathing to the left with every stroke. Yeah, I mean, I do think Jessica Long is going to want to attack this 400 meter freestyle. Both Stickney and Long are very strong swimmers. Jessica Long, she's got that early speed. She had a slight advantage off the start, slight advantage over the turns. Or, well, not so much an advantage. She's just, she's a little quicker off both of them. Stickney though, she was an able-bodied swimmer. She was actually ranked in the top 20 and she did the 1500 when she was able-bodied. That is the, the ultimate distance event in swimming and so you know that she's going to have a very strong back half and so Jessica Long her strategy should be to get out as far ahead of Stickney as she possibly can because Stickney's going to be strong in the end. I must say Palazzo is holding on to uh, the tails of Stickney for the time being 
The Italian is looking for yet another medal in the pool, certainly for Italy and indeed for herself as well, while the battle for fourth could be on between Mark, the young German swimmer, and Thudayar of uh, Spain. The two 17-year-olds having a battle of their own, potentially to see who touches first outside the medals. But for now, heading up towards the 200-meter mark, it is uh, a staggered line of swimmers. Long from Stickney, from Palazzo. Yeah, and Palazzo, you know, she, she's in a clear third place. She's really established herself right now. She seems to be going strong. Now, Long and Stickney pretty much well out of her sight right now, but she, she is trying to, you know, as, as long as she can keep herself away from the other swimmers and avoid that last minute charge, she should secure herself that bronze medal right now. So looking to secure that uh, bronze medal, a fantastic relay gold for her in the 4 by 100 meter freestyle relay, 34 points. Xenia uh, Franta, Francesca Palazza. She's been around for uh, a while, having first competed at the World Championships back in 2013. But Jessica Long, I suppose, when you're talking about uh, being around for a while, she made her debut in Athens as a 12-year-old, where she picked up uh, three golds in freestyle events. And she is looking now to continue that impressive run in this freestyle event. When does Stickney make her move as they come back towards the uh, 300 mark? Stickney is looking to just up the pace a little, increase the tempo, increase the stroke rate. She does, but Jessica Long, she's not giving her any ground. I mean, Jessica Long, she's she's attacking this. She's swimming a very smart race. Stickney, now you see she's trying to close the gap a little bit, and she does appear to be doing so. She's increased the stroke rate a little bit. Jessica Long, though, she's, she's such a well-trained swimmer, she won't fade. So Stickney and Long coming into this final 100. And if there is any area that Jessica Long is going to lose it, it's slightly in the turns, where that's the only real weak area of her swimming. Once she's in her stroke, she looks to be the very best in the pool. She is uh, a leader by example. She is technically so proficient. I shouldn't say proficient. She's far more than that. She is absolutely accomplished in terms of her technical stroke. But Stickney does have pace. The question is whether or not Long is going to allow her any room to try to use that pace. Stickney, she's made up some serious ground during this final 100. Now as they go into the last 50, it's going to be an all-out sprint between Stickney and Long. Long, a very smart, a very experienced swimmer. Stickney, also very experienced. We know she has the distance background. And now Stickney is looking to make a move. Jessica Long, she might have an incredible record. 25 Paralympic Games medals after her gold in that 200 IM. But her record with 14 golds, and of course in the World Championship, she's got a host of golds as well. 31 World Championship medals that are golden. But she might not be claiming the Paralympic gold medal here because Stickney is flying past her. She has got an incredibly strong finish. She is turning those shoulders over so brilliantly. She touched second, but she's got to touch first at the wall with 50 to go. She was behind Jessica Long. She would overturn that in the pool and Long for the second Paralympic Games in succession after winning three before that. Touches for second after her silver in Rio. Palazzo comes home for third. The battle for fourth here looks like it's going to go the way of Sudan of Spain who touches ahead of Mark. We, we were thrilled by the finish in the men's race. The women's race needed to step up and deliver, and it's done exactly that. What a race between the two Americans. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> Morgan Stickney, wow, that finish, that was, that was something, I mean, I'm going to remember that for the rest of the night, but Jessica Long, I mean, she went out hard. She tried to maintain it. She was very evenly paced throughout the whole thing, both of them, a, a very strong swim. So Jessica Long will take the silver here and uh, significant in the sense that now she has got three medals from her three individual events and she's got one gold, one silver and one bronze. So she gets her selection complete in Tokyo 2020. Touching now is Maria Pavlova. And Lakeisha Patterson, she can maybe breathe a sigh of relief that the world record lives for for uh, for a little while maybe another few weeks <laughs> Stickney has finishes like that to come she could learn how to get out a little more like Jessica Long it is about managing your race but Jessica Long the way she started looked to give herself an advantage and try to attack the, the race in the early stages keep that advantage Palazzo's bronze medal 
A quality swim again, a 4.56.79, so anything sub five is, is good. Not her best, but still pretty good. Now off the blocks, both Stickney and Long are double below the knee amputees. Long has the start nailed to perfection. We typically, typically talk about her as not having a great start, but you know, in, she does have a better one than Stickney right now, and I think that's just practice. Now going into the race, here you see Long. She took out the early advantage and Long and Stickney, again, relatively evenly matched on the walls. Neither one of them has particularly strong turns. Long has, you know, more experience, I would say, at the Paralympics. But Stickney, just, she's the, she has such a distance background, and she used that to really come back during that final 50. And she blew right past Long right now. I mean, what a finish. Indeed, an incredible finish for Morgan Stickney. An emotional moment for her, no doubt. Celebrating with a legend, Jessica Long, a 26th Paralympic Games medal and a 70th global medal at major international competitions. Morgan Stickney takes the gold ahead of Jessica Long in an all-US battle up front, while Palazzo had a solid sub-five-minute swim as she took bronze. To the men's 100 meter freestyle S12 final we go. Star list that includes Stephen Clegg as uh, fastest seed with only seventh at the World Championships in 2019. Let's take you.